everybody. Welcome, everyone. My name is Mariana Matia. I'm the Customer Success Team Manager at Freitas. Welcome to our platform demo. We're very, very happy to have you here today. Uh, the idea is for you to understand how, for us to show you how simple it is to search, compare, and book your achievement. Whether it's your first time making achievement or it's your hundredth time, no worries, we got your 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 back. Uh, we know that uh, that sometimes the how overwhelming can be the chipping word. Feel free to ask any question. No question is too sil simple or too small. This demo will last about fifteen minutes, followed by a QA session, and then you will have also the option to uh, pose your your questions in the chat. Uh, now I will pass you to the to the customer success team. The first the person who's going to drive the demo will be Andrea, and then we're going to have. Uh, QA session with Brim and Brian. Andrea, all yours. Uh, thank you for that uh, great introduction, Mariana. So hello, everyone. Um, again, I am Andrea from Customer Success Team at Fredos.com. So today I will be showing you a demonstration on how our platform works. Uh, so just to give you an overview, uh, our platform is basically like an online coding um tool wherein you can easily search code and book your shipments. So to start, I will be sharing my screen to you. Yeah, so I hope everyone can see my screen now. Yeah, so to uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you are on the correct website. It's uh, ship.fredos.com. So once you're in uh, the website and you're already logged in with your, with your account, uh, you will be seeing here the this page that is called the search page. So in this page, um, uh, you just have to uh, put the origin, destination, load, and goods details for you to search a code. So uh, if you click on the origin, uh, you will see uh, the type. Uh, port or airport, factory, warehouse, business address, and residential address. In this type, this indicates where your goods are coming from or uh, if you prefer to pick it up on uh, an airport or a port, uh, factory, warehouse, business address, and residential address. So if you selected the port or airport, you just have to um, select the country of origin and put the correct port or airport code for example um nkg in china so you can just select it on the drop down and then um for my um example i will be uh, booking a door to door shipment so i will be selecting factory or warehouse so my country is uh from china and then i just need to put the city or zip code on the address so Let's say that it is coming from um, Shenzhen and then enter and then you're on to the destination. So same as in the origin, you will see the type as port or airport, warehouse, fulfillment center, business address, residential address, and last mile delivery warehouse. So it's pretty much the same on the origin, but we have an additional uh, two types, which is the fulfillment center and last mile delivery. So this is being used for Amazon shipments only. So for my example, um, I will be um, selecting the business address as my destination going to the United States. And same as uh, the origin, I will just put in the city name. So let's say it will uh, be going to California. Okay, then next. Now you're on the uh, shipment load. So you have the option if you have like a loose cargo or containers. You just have to select which container you have. And on the loose cargo, we have two package types. It's uh, pallets and uh, boxes or crates. So for me, I have uh, boxes. And in the number of units, you just have to uh, put in how many boxes you have. So for example... I have like 30 uh, boxes and the dimensions are uh, 50, 41, and let's say 42. And the kilograms, it weighs around uh, 15 kilograms. So if you have another uh, boxes with different dimension and weight, uh, you just have to uh, click on the add another load. 
and it will give you an option again to put uh, uh, the remaining units. So for example, I still have um, 10 units with different um, length, width, and height. So let's say it's 40, 31, and 32 that weighs around um, 18 kilograms. So once you're done with the shipment load, you just have to confirm it. And now you're, you're on to the last part, which is the goods value. So let's say that my goods value is around 10,000 USD. And if your shipment contains hazardous goods, you need to tick on this box. But uh, please note that our forwarders uh, do not usually handle hazardous uh, shipments except for items containing lithium-ion batteries. But if it's not applicable, then just leave uh, the box. And then uh, the time frame for the goods read ready date, it, uh, we have three options. Um, it's, yes, my goods are ready, will be ready within two weeks, will be ready in more than two weeks. So for mine, my goods are already ready and click done and then search for the code. And now it will uh, lead you to the recommended services page wherein you can um, add uh, services on your code, such as the lift gate, the loading dock at the pickup point, if you need it, of course, um, insurance that is being handled by our partner XCover. Of course, you also have the option to add the customs brokerage service. So if you are um, shipping to the United States, um, it will be handled by our partner as well. It's clear it. So they will be handling your customs clearance. And for US shipments, um, there uh, you need to select a customs ban. Uh, this is only applicable for US shipments. So we have two options, the single entry bond and the annual bond. So for the single entry bond, this is for one-time use only. While on the annual bond, it is valid within 12 months. So if you are planning to have like uh, more shipments within the 12 months, it's uh, recommended to, to avail the annual one. But for me, I will just select the single entry bond. Then once you're sure of the shipment details as well as the uh, services, you can confirm services and get results. So right now we're on to the results page where we can see uh, different codes from the different freight forwarders. As you can see, we have uh, different forwarders that offers um, quotes for our search. It's from uh, Forsmart, Silver Strike Logistics, and Unicargo, and many more. So since we have a lot of results uh, from, uh, from the forwarders, we have uh, this one, uh, the filter feature, where you can filter the result based on the price, expiration date, modes, uh, the seller, which is the uh, freight forwarders, and port origin port and destination port that you prefer. So if you have a preferred one, you just have to tick on the box to, um, to filter the results. And also we have uh, the, the filter here on, the, on top, which is the best value, quickest, cheapest, and greenest. So as uh, for these results, we have the best value from uh, ForceJet. So if you are curious about the cost included on the code, you just have to click on the arrow down here and you can um, see the specific cost breakdown that is included on, on this code. And of course, one thing that uh, you need to know, uh, especially for the first time uh, shippers, that uh, if you have like uh, no idea about uh, the freight forwarders or who to choose to handle your shipment, you can just click on uh, the name of the forwarder and then you will see verified reviews from actual customers that availed the service of that particular um, freight forwarder. So this can help you choose one, uh, who, uh, who to choose to handle your shipment. Of course, um, we uh, assure you that all of our partners are reliable, but of course we, uh, we want to help you decide on your first shipment. And um, lastly, um, you can also see here the expiration date. So in uh, expiration date, it means the this code is valid until January 29, 2024. So it means that um, the goods, your goods should enter the port of loading on or before that date. Otherwise, the general, general rate increase will apply. 
So once you're sure about uh, the code that you will choose, just uh, click on select. So for me, I'm going to choose the force jet. So now we are on the booking summary page wherein you can see all the shipment details, the recommended services, as well as the price details. Then once you're sure uh, of this code, then we can confirm and book the shipment. So there we have it. We have now uh, confirmed the booking. And as you can see, um, we uh, once you see this page, this is what you call the shipment page, where and you can see the shipment status. And right now, you can see that the status is still booking place. And you can also see that we have uh, four tabs here, the action record tab, summary, shipment charges, and the code details. So what you, uh, what you should do next is to make sure to visit this tab, the action record part, and make sure to complete all the necessary details on this part. For the payment method, you just need to fill out the company billing details and you will have the option to select the payment method um, if you are going to uh, pay uh, through a credit card, a bank transfer, or a wire transfer. And then, of course, the contact details for the pickup, uh, the consignor, the delivery, as well as the uh, consignee. So we need to fill out all the details. And lastly, um, for the goods, of course, uh, the commodities, you need to uh, fill out all uh, the requirements, uh, the product name, the HS code, also upload the product image. And uh, one of the most important things that you need to, uh, to accomplish here is the uploading of the commercial invoice and the packing list. So just to give an information, this is being provided by uh, the suppliers. So uh, if you need this document, just ask for them and they will provide it to you. And you need to upload it in here. And then for the custom, since we availed the customs brokerage uh, service that uh, what I mentioned earlier, that it is being handled by ClearIt. So you need uh, to uh, fill out this POA, which means the power of authority that gives the authority to clear it to uh, process your customs clearance on your behalf. So once you're done filling out all the, the, the details, upload the documents as well as the POA, you will see the status here. It will change as to uh, booking sent to logistics provider. So once um, the status has been changed, then uh, this uh, freight forwarder, force jet digital freight forwarder will update you on uh, the shipment progress and um, you can coordinate to them uh, throughout your shipment. So uh, that's basically it. Um, it is very um, easy to search and book your shipment right now. So um, if you have any questions, we, we have like a Q&A after this one. So that's it. Thank you, Andrea, for this great walkthrough. Mm -hmm. um, I see that we're starting to receive some questions. Uh, Rem will be answering some of them over the over like text or chat. And then I'll take some of the questions live right now. So this is your chance to drop any new questions that you have. Um, so uh, we have a, the first question that I have here from Ricardo. He's asking if the origin is from uh, China, for example, and the destination is the US, whether it's cheaper to ship the goods to the West Coast or to the East Coast. And if we have any warehousing um, services or storage services in the West Coast of US. Uh, so to answer your first question, honestly, it depends every time, like the time when you run the search online, it depends on the situation of the port, um, whether on the West Coast or the East Coast at the time of shipping. So what you can do is to try to run one example to the West Coast and another one to the East Coast and compare between the results. And that's one of the advantages that our website gives you is to be able to get instant codes, compare between them, and choose um, the most convenient or um, cost-efficient option for yourself. Uh, as for warehousing and storage services, um, I just want to clarify here that Fredos is an online coating system uh, where you can book and manage your shipments online, and we're not a freight forwarder or um, a warehousing or storage 
facility. So we do not offer that as Fredos. However, if you need storage um, in your destination country, you can always talk to your freight forwarder after booking your shipment and um, requesting any additional services that you need from them. Because most freight forwarders would have uh, their own agents where they can direct you to someone, or they would even have their own warehouses where you can uh, store your shipment and they would advise the fee for the number of days that you need. Uh, now, um, your, uh, the next question is, how are the rates being fetched from carriers? Uh, do we have spot rates? Uh, this is a very good question. So the way we bring our rates from our freight forwarders is that we have a whole internal team that works with our freight forwarder. We actually have over 30 logistics providers on the system. On um, every 10 days to 14 days, uh, we contact these freight forwarders who provide us with the rates from their carriers. So that's why the rates have an expiration date. And we would upload the data into the system, and the users would actually have access to see it. Uh, if you mean by uh, spot rates like live rates from carriers, the rates that are provided by our freight forwarders have expiry dates. And you, as long as your rate is valid, you can go ahead and book it. Um, OK, how long does it take on average from confirming the booking to the freight forwarder picking up the package? This is a very good question. Uh, it's very important to build expectation when it comes to booking online and all of that. When you place the booking, as Andrea showed us, you have to fill out the action required section. As soon as you fill it out, the status will change into green and it will be booking sent to your logistics provider. And the freight forwarder would receive all the shipment information. They would check available carriers. As soon as they secure the carrier, they will be able to inform you of the estimated pickup date and start arranging for that. Usually it should take from one to three business days for you to get an update on the pickup uh, time. However, uh, sometimes in some times of the year where it's like a high season, it could take longer because there would be a shortage of available carriers, of empty containers, like what we are facing right now because of the upcoming Chinese New Year. Everyone's trying to get their shipments out of China as soon as possible, which is causing a shortage of empty containers and delaying some shipments. Um, okay, I see here, is it possible to see what route the coach will go? Uh, yes, you can see the origin port and the destination port and the the routing that you choose for your shipment. However, the exact details, like whether it's going to go through the Suez Canal, um, it's going to go through the Red Sea, which ports are going to be like the stops on the way, all of that details are not shown when you book the shipment, initially book it, uh, because we don't know which carrier is going to be chosen yet for your shipment. However, after you, your shipment is released to the freight forwarder, we give you access to contact them directly where you can ask them such question as the exact routing of the shipment. Um, okay, uh, next question. Uh, I have bought a product FOB. It means that the custom fees on departure have been covered. So should I click customs brokerage for the arrival customs fee? This is very important because customs are kind of tricky. Uh, when it comes for new shippers, there are two types of custom that we need to differentiate between, which are the ones at origin location and the ones at destination. The ones at the origin are the ones covered uh, by your supplier because your terms are FOB, which is uh, the pickup will be from the port. Your supplier should cover anything or any origin fees, and um, the shipment will be like cleared from orig origin country upon pickup. So that's for the origin um, part. However, for the destination, you will also need the service of customs clearance. And um, for the destination, it's kind of a different process. For example, for the US, um, the customs clearance, you will have duties and taxes based on the product you're shipping. So you should expect some fees to be added based on that. And you will definitely need a customs broker to help you uh, clear the shipment. So the answer is yes, you should include customs brokerage for the arrival or the destination country.
Um, the next question, uh, what would we say is the final date to confirm the booking such uh, that it is guaranteed your shipment is shipped before Chinese New Year? By confirming the booking, I mean you have filled in all the information and it's sent to the freight forwarder. Uh, okay, so uh, this is a good question because now Chinese New Year is coming up and it's kind of sensitive uh, timing and it's a high season. So once you confirm your booking and it's sent to your logistics provider, that means the, the logistics provider received your information and they will start looking for an available carrier. This does not guarantee that the carrier will depart before Chinese New Year or after Chinese New Year. However, if you're interested that your shipment leaves before Chinese New Year, you can always reach out to the freight forwarder through the chat button on your shipment page. Tell them, hi, I need this to, to leave China before Chinese New Year. And uh, as Andrea is showing us how to access the chat with the freight forwarder, and you can tell them about your expectations, when do you need it to leave? And they will confirm to you if that's doable, it's possible there's an available carrier or not. If not, they will advise the first available carrier. And then you have the choice to either proceed with your booking and wait or cancel the booking and get a full refund. Um, Okay, I selected origin for and tried to insert the Mumbai port as origin, but it does not work. Uh, sometimes you would be trying to type it in manually, try to type in the first few letters and select it from the drop down menu. If you still have issues, you can always chat with us online where we can help you run the search. Um, okay, uh, what is an HS code? This is an interesting question. Uh, an HS code is the code which is assigned to your product. So each product, let's say, for example, we have teddy bears and we have cars. Teddy bears have a specific HS code and cars have another specific HS code. Why is it important? It's important because the duties and taxes which will be assigned to you are based on the HS code used. So it's a sensitive code where you need to be very specific because, for example, Teddy bears that are stuffed and have a specific color, for example, uh, or made out of um, specific material will have a specific HS code. Teddy bears that are not stuffed and uh, are made of a different material um, will have a different HS code. So you need to ask your supplier about the exact HS code of your product to make sure you are getting the correct duties and taxes and not paying extra. Uh, if, you, if the supplier cannot help you with that, your customs broker can actually help you determine the HS code after booking. Uh, we'll take one last question live right now, and then the remaining questions, no need to worry, we'll just get back to you by email afterwards. Um, okay, now the last question. Um, I need to ship various items, low value, either half a container max or less than that. Would it be cheaper to ship to US or Canada from Germany? Uh, can I go through shipper or should I use mover? Okay, uh, so since there are various items and it's less than a container load, uh, you would definitely need to just package them the correct way whether in, bo in boxes or in pallets, and it would be an LCL shipment. And uh, whether it's cheaper to Canada or to the US, you'll need to run the search online to both of your exact destinations in the US or in Canada, see the available options depending on your load details, and then um, you'll be able to different to see which option is better for your specific case. Um, you can also reach out to us through the chat and we'll definitely help you make the right decision or like recommend what's better. Um, that's it for now. Thank you all for your questions. We'll get back to the rest by email, hopefully by tomorrow, and we'll also share the recording of this webinar. Thank you everybody for joining us today. Remember that if you need anything from us, you can reach out to us either by chat, email, or we can we can give you a call. You can give us a call. As Rim said, we'll, you will be receiving the recording for this, this demo, and we'll be coming back to you with some answer for the question we didn't cover today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.